Hello everybody, I am Jupiter XOXO and this is another episode of Let's Look at Don't Starve. So as you guys all know, there is a recent update to Don't Starve and today is January 9th. The update name is called Turf. It basically allows you to modify how the ground looks from now on. And this is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, I have made it so that the area in front of my camp is made out of rocks. You could use the shovel to re remove any part of the ground and you could put it over. For example, you can bring over some parts of the swamp and put it inside your jungle area, etc. But from what I have seen so far, even though you poured over the ground, it doesn't mean that the monsters that spawn from that ground will be poured over. Specifically, I mean that when I poured over the swamp areas from my second island into my main homeworld, as you can see in this little area right here, I haven't seen any of those tentacle monsters spawn yet, so I don't think that the tentacle monsters are poured over when you move the ground. Alright, so I'll show you my uh, swamp area tomorrow. As for now, I'm going to cook my next meal and prepare for tomorrow. I wanted to decorate my swamp with some of the tooth traps, so I'm gonna do that. It takes logs, rope, and tooth. Okay. Logs, rope, and tooth. I know I put my tooth in here. There you go. Make some of this. That should be good enough. All right my stuff in there yeah I like put it making this area in front of the fire camp campfire uh, the stone tiles because it looks so pretty this new update allows for a very decorative home home bases you can make it crisscross if you wanted to like a one one stone block and the others are grass Oh, I should do that tomorrow morning. Let me see how it will look. I'll try that out. If I don't like it, I can always, you know, return it to the way that it is now. It's too dark to go anywhere right now, so... I will stay by the campfire and harvest some birds or something. No, I can't. My uh, inventory is full up, so... Gotta wait until tomorrow morning. Which is about to... arrive anyway. I only have one hour left of the night. And then I could get moving. No, you know what? It doesn't matter how the ground looks like. I'll just fill it back up. I like the stone tablets. And my meal's done. As you can see here, I've built a lot of wooden effigies. I've built more. Because I'm using Wilson after all. Uh, oh! His beard is, um... Uh, is fully grown, so I'm gonna shave it first. His beard grows fully every 16th day, and you can harvest 9 pieces of beard, so always remember to shave. There you go. As you can see here, this is my little garden. And right next to it are the bees that harvest these flowers. And on the other side of the road is my berry farm. Yeah, with the new addition of the turfs, I can modify the ground so that I could make perfect symmetry, as you can see. 
two farms on either side and then the road perfectly separates them. And we go up into my uh, ported over swamp area. The swamp area wasn't here in the beginning. Uh, I brought it over when they introduced the update, but sadly the swamp monsters don't spawn in this small area. I think either the formula for the spawning of the swamp monsters is that the swamp has to be very big. Otherwise, it just doesn't port over. Well, that would be unfortunate, but if it has to be much bigger, maybe half the island has to be swamp. And then the, the tentacle monsters would spawn. Meanwhile, oh right, I forgot about my tooth traps. I think they look good inside this swampy area. So I, I'll decorate this area with these. Good. And my spider nests over here should be turning into queens anytime now. I'll look forward to that. I've been trying to farm Krampus's and get his backpack, but the rate at which he drops it is so low that I haven't been able to obtain one yet. And yes, as of this new update, the honeyed ham no, no, no longer heals so much health. It only heals about 5% health. Back then it used to heal around 50. So now the only real healing item in this game would be honey. So that's why I carry a stack of 40 on me. The honeys heal something like 20% of health whenever you use one, whenever you eat one. Which is decent, but compared to the original honeyed ham which heals for 50%, it's not quite as good. But since honey is stackable and you can carry up to 40 of them at a time, this is definitely an improvement. Alright, so this is how you harvest honey. You get some honey and then you run away and uh, wait until the bees walk out of their uh, attacking range, they'll go back to being neutral and then you could go harvest more honey. With this update made honey literally essential because it's the only healing item inside the game right now. I hope they don't change this again, but um, I don't know how the game designers would react. As I've mentioned before, the game designers are quite quick to respond to the player population. When people started to stay in one area, they introduced the hounds and the firehounds to destroy the farms. When people decided to farm the birds, they introduced Krampus to attack the base when you've killed too many birds. Oh, I think I'm glitching out right here. The, the traps don't have the birds in them. Really strange, I haven't seen this glitch before. And all of them are crows for some reason. Wait. Push down. I'm just killing some uh, birds right here for their meat. Ah, it's getting late. I'll continue this in the morning. I always keep the fire really high so that if hounds come or some strange event half occurs at night, I always have to I always have a big fire so that I don't need to worry about relighting it. Yeah, I have enough food so I'll store it inside my uh Oh it's full? What? Let me check this out. Ah I see, I see. Uh this is cooked meat. That's fine, then I'll cook the meat.
Krampus should be coming any time now. Because I've killed so many living things. Alright, let's so let me store my excess food. As you can see, I have three tailed bird eggs. I can place them down and hatch them, but since the birds die so quickly, I don't really bother unless I'm, I have nothing else to do. I think when you feed the birds inside bird cages, it lowers Krampus's uh, meter. It counts as a nice thing to do. So I haven't been seeing him come that often now. Ah, my uh, my helmet is just about gone. It's only at 16%. So I'm gonna make a new one. I think it is uh, one log and one pig skin, I think. So, where is my hat? Oh, it's a rope, not a log. Okay. There you go. And I will research my old one. I'll make myself a new one. Okay, that's good. The pig skin can go back in here. I don't really like the amulets. Because the amulets take up the armor uh, space. So that even though you get revived by the amulet, you are more likely to die because you don't have an armor on. Oh yes, I want to know how you make a tent. Because I want to... I want to switch characters. Seeing as I have so many wooden effigies, I can switch back to a character that I like to play with. Where did I keep the tent? Ah, tent. Requires 15 spider webs, four, 6 sticks, and 3 ropes. I'm fine with that. I've got a lot of spider webs. I need some sticks and I need some ropes. How many sticks do I need? 6 sticks. Okay. I could make one right now. They haven't introduced a new character as of yet. So I will uh, go back to playing as Wendy. Because I think she's the coolest character there is. Because at night time, uh, sometimes her dead sister comes to visit. And the ghost looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, the ghost can now die. You can actually... Um, the ghost can actually get killed, and it will come back another time. Alright, um... Getting rather hungry here, so I'm gonna eat something. And I'll prepare the next meal. Hmm. Ah! Let me show you what else you can cook with the cockpot. One of my favorite recipes is one egg and three pieces of meat. And uh, you guys can take a guess what this will make. It's a popular breakfast meal. But uh, as of now, I will go and harvest some of this grass. Because I think I was running out of rope back there. Alright, oh, I need to check if the spider queens have hatched yet. Gotta keep track of that. Because I don't want to get overwhelmed by the spiders. But it should be soon though, so I'm gonna go up and check. No, the spiders are not out yet. How do spider queens work is that a level 3 nest will become a spider queen and the level 3 nest will revert back to a level 1 nest. Therefore, duplicating itself and uh, making a new new spider queen. The spider queens, I don't think, can lay more eggs, but uh, it will run around and spawn spiders, making that area difficult to get around. 
So uh, I'm trying to kill them off once they spawn. As of right now, the best source of food is um, would be either the crockpot or these berries. But because of the firehounds, it's best not to keep the farms right next to your home base. Because the hounds will be fighting you around your campfire. And will occasionally light your entire farm on fire. So, do what I do right here. I keep my farms all in one, one cluster away from my main campfire, which is all the way back here. This way, when the firehounds burst into flames, they won't affect my home base, which is right here. Oh, the meal is done, so I'll show you what it makes after I make enough rope. Last me a while. There you go. That's good enough amount of rope. I'll store this over here. When you cook one egg and three pieces of morsel, you make bacon and eggs. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Let me see if I can make the turkey dinner, I think. But I don't have um, drumsticks right now, so I'm gonna go get some drumsticks. To get drumsticks, you gotta kill those uh, turkeys, those gobblers. They are quite rare, so um, you gotta pick berry bushes and wait for them to spawn. I would say when you're going through your berry bushes, Every third one, every tenth one or so, will have one gobbler in it. But since it's getting late, I'm gonna resume this tomorrow morning. The berries are a good um, food to carry around because you can carry a stack of 40 of them and they fulfill you quite a bit. Of course, you should cook them first because uh, cooked food gives you a little bit more hunger recovery. For example, right now I'm at 36 and if I eat a raw berry, I go to 46, which means it healed um, recover 10. And now I'm at 45 and I eat a, a roasted one and I get more than that, which is around 13. Uh, so yeah, it's just a little bit more than the raw ones, but it is that little bit counts. They add up, so um, cook your food before you eat, uh, eat them. Oh, I'm running out of monster meat, so I best uh, kill me some spiders. But I don't really attack the level 3 spiders anymore because the level 3 spiders are... Level 3 spider nests are really difficult to beat with the jumping spiders. And I gotta cook the next meal, so... I'm still making the honeyed ham right now because it's the easiest to make. All you need is two monster meat, which is so readily available, and you can't use it for anything else anyway. So make it with one mon the two monster meat and two pieces of honey. It will still recover you some HP, but not quite as much as back then. So, yeah. And let me get rid of some of these annoying uh, bear traps. for Krampus, but he's just not coming. I think this update made him a little more rare of a rare an encounter. He doesn't come quite as often as he did before. Well, I'm fine with that. He's an annoying beast to fight anyways. It's not that he's difficult, it's just that when he comes he messes up your main base, he destroys your chests, and all that stuff goes onto the floor. So, he's more annoying than he is difficult. I will save my bacon and eggs to, for tomorrow to eat. Meanwhile, let me show you another, uh, another recipe that you can make. But in order for me to get from one campfire to another, I'm gonna go get me a torch. 
which I think is grass and sticks. So let me get some grass. Let me get some sticks from here. Uh, well, it's daytime anyway. I don't need it then. Another recipe that you can make is by using four roasted berries. Or, well, you could use any four fruits. And most likely you will be making this recipe right here. Four roasted berries makes the uh, makes this smoothie looking kind of thing. So I will save that. All right, I don't need to harvest that yet. I will save it until I have the other stuff, and I will show yet another recipe, which I think it's like this. So you need one eggplant. You need um, some pieces of meat. I think two or three is up to you. And one piece of honey or any other filling. It could be anything for the last one. It will make a stuffed eggplant. These cook rather quickly because they are vegetable stuff. So uh, yeah, see, they cook rather quickly. The honey ham takes a long time to cook, but these cook quickly. Uh, see, it's fruit medley. It, it recovers quite a bit of the hunger bar, but not fully, of course. But they don't quite refill as much as the meat products, the meat uh, food sources, like the honey ham. And I'll go back to what I was doing before, which is uh, looking out for the gobbler, the turkey being. Spawn a turkey for me. I want to he eat his delicious meat. Alright, so no gobbler is spawning for me today. That is kind of upsetting. Oh, well, also, I need to kill two of them. Because uh, I need two drumsticks, I think. Two drumsticks to make a turkey dinner. So. Oh, well. Oh, a gobbler! He's out! I thought it was strange. I mean, there's so many... Uh, so many berry bushes, I bound to find one, right? You won't run away from me. The best way to kill these gobblers is to uh, track him to one side of the map, and then corner him. Oh my god, don't don't go there, that's a really difficult place to kill you at. Oh man, this sucks, totally sucks. Yeah, I'm totally just chasing him to a new island if I keep doing this. I'm gonna back off and let him come to me. Oh, damn it. Where are those little edges when you're looking for one? You know what? This is not doing it for me. I'm gonna get myself a sleeping dart, so I kill him with that instead. By the way, I'm on uh, day 366 right now, and the firehounds and the hound attacks are just getting insane. They come in groups of 10 or so, and they just sort of surround you. So um, that's the reason why I'm making more wooden effigies, because I see myself using more and more of them. So here you go. Uh, I can make a sleep dart now. Thank you. I should make more of these sleep darts, but uh, yeah, I'll go and make more sleep darts after I kill this turkey. This annoying beast has been escaping me the entire day. I best kill him. Where is the turkey? I remember him down this path. Ah, oh, there he is. Go to sleep. There you go. He's sleeping now, and I'll attack you. Good. As you can see, those uh, turkeys drop drumsticks, and I need two of them to make a uh, turkey dinner, I think? Thanksgiving dinner. It's a meal that you can cook on these uh, crap pots. So let me put this in there. I think it's two drumsticks, one cooked meat, 
and one um, pig meat. Not quite sure though, it could be uh, an alternative of that. Once again it's getting dark. And tomorrow I should check if the um, spider queens have been born yet or not. This is done. I seem to be running out of those tentacle spikes as well. But, oh well. Ah, I will switch myself a uh, hat to mix things up. I'm getting hungry here, so I'm gonna eat my bacon and eggs. As you can see, it heals uh, your hunger bar really well. That makes sense though, because bacon and eggs do taste really good. Alright, well, during nighttime, there's really nothing to do except uh, maybe feed your bird. It will lower the Krampus uh, meter, I think, because from what I can see, as long as I feed this bird once a day, I almost never see Krampus, so I think it does help. And since I'm not hungry and I have so much extra food, might as well give one or two to the birds, right? Alright, I gotta bring one of these big meats over. <coughs> <clears throat> to make the turkey dinner. I'm actually not quite sure what the what the formula is for the turkey dinner, but I'm I'm sure that it's two drumsticks. Two drumsticks and one of these meats I think. And the other is either fruits. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely fruits. So I have enough here. I just need another uh, turkey drumstick. And I'll be good. Let me see what I could make for fun while I wait. Oh, it's time to make another pan flute. And I was, uh, I gotta get back to doing what I said I was gonna do before, which is make uh, a stack of those sleep darts. Five or so would be good enough. Okay, alright. Uh, Put back on my lock suit, and I can get going. I need one meat in here, and one roasted berries, and then I need another drumstick, and I could cook my uh, turkey dinner. It would look like one of those uh, roasted turkeys uh, on the the little icon of the food that is. Yes, and uh, I gotta check if the Spider Queen has spawned yet. Should be soon, any time, any day now. I'm just surprised that they're not spawning yet. Well, no problem with that, I'll just wait for them. Ah, as you can see here, my... Um, Nor Northern Forest has been completely burnt. I was fighting one of those um, those firehounds and they ran up here so it lit this fire, this forest on fire. Been trying to dim them out but um, haven't got around to it yet. And it's really sad that the swamp that I poured over don't have those tentacles. Well, at least it looks pretty good. Eventually, I'm sure that the game designers will make it so that the tentacles spawn on those turfs, though. I'm sure of that. Yep, 
she says that we have to wait for the barriers to grow back, so I'll do that. Ah, yes. If you find uh, butterflies, let me find one here, they spawn from flowers. On a rare drop of a butterfly, you will receive butter, which you can use to make waffles. Ah, oh, there you go, here's a butterfly. Attack the butterfly. Of course, you can also catch the butterflies and plant them, literally like seeds, to make more flowers. Don't let the f butterfly go away. Death will find you. Come on. Damn it, these guys are so freaking fast. And they're so small, so targeting them is difficult. Are they landing? Spent the day just chasing butterflies. Very productive. I don't think this is happening. Oh! It seems I can't shoot sleeping darts at, at those small insects. Well, I only got those butterfly uh, wings. You can use butterfly wings for another recipe, which is uh, the butterfly cupcake. Let me see if I remember the, the recipe. I think it's one butterfly and three and three berries. I could be wrong about that one though. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Meantime, I'm gonna check if my berry farm has regrown. It takes something like three or four days for the berry farms to regrow. So, I might have to wait for this one. Meanwhile, I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna eat some honey ham. can't do anything about the spiders yet, they're not spawning. Oh, damn it, we got it wrong. I made a fruit medley instead of a uh, butterfly cupcake. How do you make butterfly cupcake then? Let me, let me think about that. Three fillers maybe? I don't know. Well, it's night time. I'll worry about that tomorrow. Ah! Abigail, the ghost sister, is here. As you can see, she's really bright with the blooming effect. You can have my fruit medley bird. And I'll also give you some berries. I got nothing better to do other than give you some berries, so here you go. And I just sit here while the birds just fly right into my traps. It's kind of unrealistic, but uh, definitely beneficial. Very fortunate. Well, I don't need to cook anything right now, because... Oh man, what happened to my uh, eggplant? I think I cooked a wrong recipe with that then. Oh, it doesn't matter. I will try to make the other uh, recipe that I know, which would be one pumpkin and three fillers. By fillers, I mean grass. It could be three pieces of grass. Ah, oh, you can't put grass anymore. Well, then it would be three berries then. This should be the recipe. 
Well, if I fail to uh, cook a proper recipe, what will happen is that you will get a wet goop, which is a failure. And since there are so many bird traps, I will uh, get rid of some right now. Killing me some birds for their morsels. I really don't need to do this anymore because I've got so much food. I don't need to kill anymore. But since the traps are so loud, they're kind of annoying. They're asking for you to harvest them, so. I'll store it inside my surplus bag. Oh, I think my trap just ran out, so gotta make a new one. Abigail leaves in the morning. And I got some more morsels. Alright, so I'm gonna go about my daily routine, which is to first check if the spiders have spawned. This is very important because if I don't do this and the spiders spawn without me knowing it, they can wreak havoc. Next, I'm gonna check if the um, the tentacle monsters have spawned, and so far I haven't seen anything. I don't think the ported over turf can spawn tentacles. That's kind of sad. Oh well. And I can't get any more gobblers right now. So. Oh, I do have some sleep darts. Kept them inside this this bag. Sleep darts are really powerful. You could put anything to sleep, even the pigs. It takes a while for them to fall asleep, though. Or maybe even takes two shots. There you go. See, he fell asleep with two shots. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to the back. At that time of the the week, the dogs are coming. Oh, well, when that happens, I just hang around the pigs. And wait for it. It's getting louder. Oh, there they are. Oh no, what's going on? I'm just mashing the spacebar right now. Because the spacebar does the nearest action and either it picks something up or it attacks the nearest enemy. Is that it? Well, this is a rather easy one. There weren't any firehounds either. Oh well. Ah, there you go. Har har harvest the cockpot, and you'll see the recipe that I was talking about. This is ratatouille, which is like a um, sliced, sliced um, vegetable dish. Alright, so for my next recipe, I'm going to require fish and uh, frogs. So I'm going to go into my swamp, so that I could uh, visit my little lake. A little pond, so that I could catch me some frogs and fish. Well, I think I have some stored as well, so I don't need a fish for any.
but I might as well do it for fun. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna spend a few days in this swamp area so that I could get some, uh, get some tentacle spikes. Are there any fish? Yeah, there go fish. But this cooked fish, I think I need, uh, raw fish, so I'm gonna do that. Um, this is, uh, frog meat. And this is monster meat, yeah. I need some frogs, and I also need some, uh... Oh, more frogs, cool. But, uh, it's getting late, it's almost night time, so... I'll cook the frog meal first, and I'll cook the fish meal tomorrow. I'll harvest this for now. To cook the frog one, I think you need uh, several pieces of frog, and uh, one stick, I think. Where can I find a stick? No sticks. I'll just get one right here. I could be wrong about this though. I, I think it might even be uh, four frogs. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Four frogs. That's either a... Uh... That is either the meat stew or it's going to be froggy bun witch, which is what I'm looking for. And uh, before it's too dark, I'm gonna plant a few trees. You know what's going on? Right click, right click. Not left click. And get back to the campfire before it's too dark. Collect some seeds while I'm at it. The next meal would be rather interesting. But I can't move from this position for now, so I'm gonna eat my ratatouille. Got so many honey hams. isn't anything to do at night, well, other than really just wait. I guess I could harvest some. Ah, there you go. I was right, four pieces of frogs do make this. This is a froggy bun witch. <laughs> it's a sandwich with a frog leg in it. It also uh, he recovers your HP and uh, hunger bar quite a bit, but not as much as eating honey does. I think this recovers maybe uh, 15 or 20. So uh, back then, Honey Ham recovers your HP for 40 or 50 points, but now it's reduced to 5. It's really sad. Oh yeah, my uh, thing is done, so... I'm pretty sure I need raw fish for this one, so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning and cook the next meal. But I could cook um, something else. Yeah, I'll, I'll just cook like the honey ham on this crack pot. Cook. There you go. I need raw fish, so I'm gonna go fish for a fish. I have a little pond that I have a campfire right next to. So that I have a safe area to fish. I got two pigs over here. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna kill this frog before I uh, attempt a fish. Oh, I do have an extra fish. Well, whatever. I'm gonna fish for one anyway, just for kicks.
Yeah, I got so many frog legs, I'll cook a froggy bun witch here. And I need silk. I don't have any space, so I'm gonna eat my froggy sandwich. And make myself a fishing rod. There you go. Okay, so equip my fishing rod and start fishing. There you go, how easy was that? What's really sad is that you can't move these ponds. So, uh, if your area doesn't have ponds, well then, you're shit out of luck. There you go, we are good. I'm gonna go back to main base. And I'll cook me another meal. Ah! Oh. My little piggy here is killing the tentacles fight. And it dropped the spike, I think. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any extra space. This is sad. So I'm gonna drop this here and... Oh man, my straw hat. Well, whatever, I'll just carry it back. And I'll give it to another pig or so. <clears throat> they really need a larger inventory bar, but uh, I'm good enough with 10. If it's more, it'll be better though, of course. Alright, I'll give my little straw hat to a pig. There you go, pig. You can have it. Come here. There you go. <laughs> you can see him wearing that the hat. Alright, uh, so to cook this meal, which requires fish and corn, I think I could put two fillers as a uh, honey. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna plant these in here, of course. I can't plant this here. I think I need fertilizer for that one. No, I, I can't even plant this. What happened? Examine. Dirt is cold and dead. Oh, this is planted already. Okay, I. In order to get fertilize a uh, plot, you need to give pigs food, vegetable food. If you give them meat, they will join you. So uh, you gotta give it um, vegetable stuff, and they will give you manure. It's kind of disgusting. They basically just shit in front of you. All right. Oh, it's done so quick too. Seeds, I'll give you, give it to the bird. What this cooks, which is one piece of fish, one corn, and and two fillers, which I use honey for. It makes fish tacos. It makes sense. I mean, you make um, taco shells with corn, so uh, using corn to cook. Fish tacos make sense. All right. And just to be sure that the spiders are not spawning yet, I'm gonna double check by visiting them. They're not spawning yet. That's good. Checking up on my swamp. No tentacle spikes. Ah, oh, the berries are finally here again. Okay, I'm going to go and collect me another um, drumstick so that I can make that turkey dinner, which also heals for quite a bit. So, uh, looking forward to that. I'll make my night campfire first. Good. Get basically everything and in surplus. Oh, right, I need to make another bird trap. That's good enough.
got an extra technical spike, but I don't think I need it. I could just ooh with one for now. Two is obviously better, so you know you have a backup. Alright, basically spend the night waiting and then uh Tomorrow would be a day of cooking that turkey dinner, hunting some gobblers. Yeah, right. Might as well harvest some of these uh, birds. Once again, I'm making the fire as big as possible so that if anything happens, I will at least not have to worry about the campfire. This is really my slaughtering block. Okay. Not enough room. Well, hell, I'll eat this. Waiting for morning right now. And you know what? I'm gonna change hats just for kicks. And uh, wearing the winter hat makes the snow. Looks really nice, but uh, not that useful, unfortunately. Eventually the ground will be completely white. Okay, we're good. Let's go and get us some uh, turkey. I gotta say, this makes the screen so, so very bright. Kind of annoying my eyes. There's gotta be one gobbler in this group of. Uh... Oh yes, uh, switch to sleep darts. Gotta be at least one gobbler in this bunch of uh, berries. Oh, there you go. I don't like these gobblers that much because they eat the berries on your uh, berry bushes. Now since I'm harvesting berries, I might as well harvest the rest. The gobblers are kind of fun to kill anyway, so... Oh, they ate mine. I gotta re-fertilize this one as well. Well, I got so many berries, I, I just feed any pig. One of these. I'll eat my fish tacos because I'm getting hungry right now. Oh, it doesn't yield, uh, recover your hunger bar that much. I think I've got a tree stump here, so I'm going to chop that down. Alright, we are all good. I'm going to get myself a manure to refertilize that one. Ah, oh, yes, first things first. A drumstick. And now we can cook this little thing. Oh, this actually might be morsel. This should be turkey dinner, I think. It could also be not, so... Uh, wish me luck for that one. Roasted berries, huh? Where are my pigs? Yeah, you know what? The snow is really annoying me. It's making the area so very bright. I'm gonna wear something else. Much better. Blinding my eyes. There you go. Give me a manure. Thank you. Getting hungry again, so I'm gonna eat some honey ham.
and using the manure to refertilize my oh no I screwed up I got a meat stew instead damn it I know it's two drumsticks that much I'm certain of I guess it's not more so it has to be berries then yeah you can have one berries in there Where do I have oh Gotta go back to uh, Gobbler or something. But oh well, I'll do that another time. Well, that's it for this time. See you next episode when the creators release another update. And well, thank you for watching. Bye bye.